Hello and welcome to the next episode of our On Device Research Academy. I'm pleased to be joined today by Dr Alastair Good, Cognitive Scientist at Gorilla in the Room, and he's here to tell us all things AR and VR related. So to start off, can you tell me a little bit more about what the metaverse is? The metaverse is one of these topics that sort of was quite hot, it sort of drifted a bit. And that's probably because um, a certain person called Mark Zuckerberg decided to put a lot of information out there about what the metaverse, his version of what, the, what he thought people should think the metaverse was, um, which is essentially kind of Facebook in a headset where you go and talk to people and you have conversations. Um, that's not what the metaverse is. The metaverse is much broader. The metaverse can be web-based things like Decentraland, Web4, where you can go and explore environments. It can be augmented reality. You can have visual augmentations um, through devices and through headsets as well, but mostly to kind of handheld devices. Um, that can be, again, a kind of metaverse where you go and visit and explore. And also it does include kind of virtual experiences where you put the headset on and you are fully digitally immersed in a completely different environment. So there's a lot of different kind of things that can be metaverse, but it's a broad description rather than just Facebook in a headset. So following on from that, can you explain a little bit more about how you see AR and VR fit into that more widely? One of the great things about augmented and virtual reality is the way we experience them. So I'm, I'm a psychologist. I did my background uh, research in consciousness. So it's about hu the human experience. And the actual human experience of augmented and virtual reality are very different to the way in which we experience other digital media. And that's quite key in the terms of how we use them and understanding how we use them. So in terms of virtual reality, um, say for example you're creating a brand experience, um, it's much more like a lived experience, like going to a trade show or something like that, where people live through an event and that's how it's stored in memory, as a sort of episodic memory, an episode in your life that you've actually lived, rather than kind of communicating a fact or a brand truth or something like that. Augmented reality, again, is different because it's like having a, a thing in the room with you, whether that be an experience, a product or whatever it might be. And the way that people experience that, again, is different to kind of digital media. It's much more involved. It's much, you know, you can move around it. You have agency over that experience. You can interact with it in the way that you want to. And I think that's one of the key differences. And those are sort of the basis of how we understand where we can use this technology in terms of both research and in terms of media. So Alastair, can you tell me a little bit more about Gorilla in the Room and exactly what you guys do? So Gorilla in the Room are a company we set up designed to use um, uh, extended reality in the world of research. So that includes things like augmented reality and virtual reality. And we broadly work in with brands being able to make a better experience of what something is going to be like um, based on giving a more realistic experience at the time in which we do the research. Thank you, Alastair. Do you need to drive better accountability and demonstrate effective insights when it comes to AR and VR advertising? Then please reach out to us at ondeviceresearch.com.